think I have to come, change. They're not going to come back, those kittens, so that food is going to go wasted. Okay, good morning, guys. But um, I really wish I got what just happened actually on video. Uh, I'm covered in Snapple right now. Um, I, I'm changing my shirt and my pants and oops. Um, I always do this thing with Snapple bottles that like to make sure they're um, mixed because sometimes the stuff goes on the bottom. I'll like take the deodorant. I take the back of it and go like this like a few times and I did and the cap was off. So I got it everywhere. <laughs> I'm like soaked right now and Snapple is not a nice feeling so I'm changing my clothes. But good morning. Okay, so there's this huge thing with EDS where you really should not be um, doing what they call party tricks where, um, you know, like with EDS, our bodies do things completely, um, you know, we can bend in certain ways that normal people can't and stuff like that. So really we're told not to do party tricks. Um, but I saw somebody, this is just a good explanation of how hypermobile people with EDS are. Um, I just saw a picture um, somebody took and was able to get it um, pretty easily, which is unfortunate, so. That is an EDS hand, easily. This is an EDS hand. And I'm fine, it doesn't hurt. But that's EDS for you, little EDS fun fact of the day. We're really not supposed to be doing stuff like that. I don't do them often. So I'm about to head over to my grandma's. I do not know what I'm in for today at all. I don't know what kind of mood she's in. Sorry, I just have to move the seat all the way up. I don't know what kind of mood she's in today. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know how she's gonna be. I'm gonna do her nails. I try to maintain her nails um, so that she, that like, at least helps her feel okay about herself. You know, that she can look down and it's like, okay, my nails are done. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what kind of mood she's in. Um, hopefully she's doing okay. And yeah, wish me luck guys. I'll keep you updated. Oh my god, guys. Wait, let me put the car in park. Oh my god. I can't believe I did this. So I got into the car and I was tangled in my yarn, but I was like, okay, whatever. When I get out, I'll fix it. <laughs> this is what happened. That's great. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, so this is a little bit awkward because you're going to see my lips up close, but um, I am, this this happens to me constantly because of like the chronic dehydration and then I, I guess the poor, you know, the blood pooling my legs and the autonomic nervous system stuff that um, this happens if I, if I don't have um, infusions during the winter, I would have um, an infusion and I'd feel good and my lips would actually, because my lips are weirdly a really good indicator um, as to whether I'm in need of an infusion or not. So it used to be two to three days after an infusion of just one liter, um, I'd feel better and like my lips were good, um, but not so much with the summer, which sucks a lot. So my, um, sorry, their phone's ringing in the background. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys my lips up close before I take a shower, just so you can kind of see. It's like, ooh, it hurts. Like, 
It hurts so much. I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. All that, like, cracking and stuff. And I notice it. I know people who have pots and, like, if they take a picture or a video. See, this is horrible. It just peels off. Um, and, uh... I know a lot of people who have the chronic dehydration and this, the, you know, the issues with the autonomic nervous system dysfunction. And it's not just me. I can see pictures of people. Like, I know whether they're dehydrated or not. Like, it's such a stupid thing, but it's like one of those things that you, you pick up from dealing it with yourself that it's something that you just, you see and you know right off the bat. So, stupid. But I just wanted to show you guys, um... And yeah, my lips are disgusting. They're a mess. They're horrible and I need my daily infusions. Right, I'm taking a shower. to consolidate everything and um, be ready for today because, or tomorrow technically I guess, um, because I know that I, uh, yeah, uh, it's just, it's gonna end up it's worth it. It's extremely worth it. So don't get me wrong on this. It is so unbelievably worth it to see my friend that I haven't seen. My best friend. I've not seen her since October. Um, and I'm seeing her. In, it's like 2 right now. I see her at like 9.30. So literally like 7 hours I get to see her again, which is awesome. Um, we actually met on Instagram, and yeah, um, I haven't seen her in a very long time, and, um, I doubt that any of you live in the same vicinity from New York City like I do, but I'll fill you in really quick. <clears throat> um, they are randomly choosing to do an emergency maintenance project for Amtrak, um, and so New Jersey Transit, the Long Island Railroad, and Amtrak, they all go out in and out of Penn Station, so they're doing major, major, major renovation um, to the Amtrak track, and it's messing everybody up. It's messing all lines up where people that usually take a half an hour to get home are going to be taking like two hours, like it's really, really severe it's bad and everybody in New York is freaking out so I am freaking out because I have to get off my train well get on the train in the first place here get on the train then get off that tra train and then go find the New, Jer New Jersey Transit train get on that train then transfer at this town in Jersey and then go to my friend's house so it's a lot of transferring, it's a lot of moving, and I know that after this week, because my paper is due on Thursday morning, my, my paper is due on Thursday morning, my final is due that night, then I'm going to Adrian's, but 
I have an infusion during that day, and I'm going to be getting back at, like, 10 o'clock in the morning from my friend's house, so it's just, like, my, I know my body, like, I just, I know that I'm going to pay for it completely, um, and, you know, you kind of constantly have to work, um, weigh the pros and cons, um, yeah, you have to weigh the pros and cons with every decision you make, and, um, obviously the pros being that it's my best friend's birthday and I haven't seen her since October weighs out the cons of me being completely incapacitated on Friday and Thursday night, so, we'll see how everything goes, um, but yeah, I think that's about it, um, I hope you learned a little bit more about I hope you guys at least learned something today and I am adding content um, to this page tomorrow probably um, and it's like what's in my bag spoonie edition um, so yeah, yeah that's about it Thank you guys for watching, and you guys will be meeting my best friend Teresa tomorrow, so it's exciting. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys. Thank you for watching.